to a post-conflict stage, which is where you're going to be examining conflicts this afternoon, looking at peace building from a backwards planning approach. The conflict has already escalated, it's begun, it's reached a stage. Look, I think the conflict is already at a stage where 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 So post-conflict allows us to have only the resolution, but backwards planning can teach us how to not waste our resources on conflict. Relates back to leadership and change psychology. Relates back to leadership and change psychology. Lié au relatif véritablement au leadership et le changement, voire la psychologie. And yesterday, the major general told us about adaptive leadership. Hier, on a parlé de du leadership adopté. So therefore, conflict analysis is going to inform sensitive programming with a real particular relevance to the interaction between intervention and the context in which la, the conflict is. C'est la raison pour laquelle les analyses nous permettront aujourd'hui de, euh, de, 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 de comprendre ce qu'on a appris hier euh, de façon psychologique. If we think about the analysis of any conflict situation, we have to be sensitive to context. Nous avons véritablement un why this happened. Nous devons véritablement être sensibles quand nous comprenons véritablement le l'aspect psychologique d'un conflit. Nous allons être véritablement sensibles à ces derniers. So therefore, if we inform our project set up when we're looking at our analysis this afternoon, c'est avant pour laquelle nous avons nous allons aujourd'hui cet après-midi parler nous allons faire la simulation. We need to consider the decision making that caused that caused the disruption. The cause of the disruption. Disruption. Nous nous allons aujourd'hui considérer que le notre nos décisions que nous prenons. C'est vont déboucher sur l'interruption de tout cela. So the stages of conflict analysis, and this is something that you really do need to consider. Les analyses, on doit vraiment le considérer. Literally, we come into the world perfect. There is no conflict when we're born. Retournons un peu à ces mondes d'avant qui étaient parfaits. Il n'y a aucun conflit dans le temps. Latent conflict is the next stage. First, we start with no conflict, innocence, and then we move to latent conflict, where there is a delayed response to fighting or wanting something someone else has, or access to a shared resource. The conflict has commenced when we have started to fight between us. We have also started to look for the benefits of resources. And emergence of conflict is when the load bearing is too much and the resource is depleted, or the want is too much, and this begins this change that takes place within our human psyche into the next mechanism, which is the escalation of conflict. Le l'escalade arrive beaucoup plus quand on 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 se dispute quelque chose pendant des années, on s'est disputé des choses, et puis ça a affecté notre psychologie, voilà. And the escalation of conflict involves ambassadors of conflict.